Welcome to my channel. I hope you like and subscribe and thanks for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this little cardigan sweater, coat or jacket for baby boys and girls between three and six months old. It's very easy to make. The stitch that I used to make this little cardigan sweater, it's called the Crystal Waves Crochet Stitch. It's an absolutely beautiful stitch pattern and very easy, so I hope you like it. Now, this little jacket, like I said, is for baby boys and girls between three and six months old, but you can easily make it smaller or bigger, I'd say from a newborn size and up to 24 months months. Down here in the information box below, I'll go ahead and leave you some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger, so be sure to check that out. Also in the information box, I'll go ahead and leave the link to the matching little hat, and you will also find the link to my Etsy shop if you prefer a written pattern. Thank you so much for your support. Now to crochet this little sweater, this is the yarn that I used. It's super soft, baby double knit, James Seabread. Now you can also use number three yarn or a ply, and you're going to need about 140 grams, 100 grams in the main color, and in the white I used about 40 grams, along with four buttons. These buttons are 12 millimeter size. Now stay tuned, in another tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the matching baby blanket, and comment below and let me know if you want me to show you how to make the matching pants and the booties. Now let's get started, but don't forget to subscribe, activate the notifications bell to all notifications so that YouTube can recommend my videos. And if you like this tutorial, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching. To begin, I'll be using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, and today I'm using this DK weight yarn. You can also use number three yarn or a ply. I already showed you at the beginning of the video the yarn that I'm using, and I told you how much yarn you need to make this little sweater in the size that we're making. Now, I have my chain ready. I have a total of 54 chains. This chain, without stretching or anything, it's measuring about 26 centimeters, which is about 11.5 inches. Now, if your chain is off by one or two centimeters, it's okay, just continue. So here, to begin, this is going to be the first row. So into the fourth chain from the hook, one, two, three, four, I'm going to make a double crochet. Now, these three chains here counts as a double crochet, so I have two double crochets here. Into the next, make a double crochet. Here, I'm going to make a total of six double crochets. So I have three, that's four, five, six double crochets including the three chains that's one two three four five six now into the next chain i'm going to make my first corner so into this corner here i'm going to make two double crochets that's one two chain one and then again into the same stitch two double crochets each one of the corners we're going to make in the same way two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Before you continue, mark the center here. So into the chain space, put a stitch marker. This here, the six double crochets represents the front panel. Now we're going to make the shoulder or the sleeves. So into the next chain here, make a double crochet. In total for the shoulder, I'm going to make 12. So that's one, two, twelve. Let me count again just to double check, make sure I have twelve. So here's the corner, we have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Perfect. This here is going to be the shoulder. Now into the next chain, make a second corner. So that's one, two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets into the same stitch here. Now before you continue, put a stitch marker into the chain space to mark this second corner. And now for the back side, 
we're going to make a total of 12 double crochets. So that's one into the next, that's two into the next, that's three and so on until you have 12. I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. I finished making these 12 double crochets for the back side. Now into the next stitch here, make your third corner. So make two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, Now, before you continue, mark this corner here. So place the stitch marker into the chain space. Now for the second shoulder, we're going to make 12 double crochets. So into the next chain, make a double crochet, into the next a double crochet, and so on, until you have 12 double crochets. I finished making these 12 double crochets for the second shoulder. Now into the next chain here, we're going to make the fourth corner. So make two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Now put a stitch marker here into the chain space. And here we're going to finish by making these last six double crochets. So into the next chain, make a double crochet. That's one. And here's the first row. Now, let me show you again what we did. So here to begin, I had 54 chains into the fourth chain from the hook. I did a double crochet in total for the first front panel. You should have six double crochets, including the three chains. That's two, four, six. And then we did the first corner and then we did the shoulder for the shoulder. You should have 12 double crochets. Then we did the corner. For the back side, you should have 12 double crochets. And then we did the third corner. For the second shoulder, you should have 12 double crochets. And then we did the fourth corner. And then finished here with six double crochets for the second front panel. So in total, if you count each one of these double crochets, including the double crochets for the corners, you should have 64. So now for the second row here, we're going to chain one and turn. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a single crochet, make sure you go through both loops. Now, these next single crochets that I'm going to do, I'm going to go into the back loop only. So into the second double crochet through the back loop only, make a single crochet. And the same thing on each one of these double crochets until you come to the first corner. So here so far I have four single crochets. That's five, six, seven, eight. And now we have the corner here. Remove that stitch marker and into this corner chain make two single crochets. One, two. Chain one, two single crochets. Now, before you continue, don't forget to mark this chain space here of this corner. Right here, this is the chain space. Now, for the shoulder here, you're going to just make single crochets, making sure to go through the back loop. So here's the first double crochet. Make a single crochet through the back loop only. Now, if it's easier, just go through both loops. It is going to look a little different than mine, but it should still look nice. So here we're just going to continue and make one single crochet through the back loop of each one of these double crochets until you come to the second corner. There, I have my corner, remove that stitch marker, and here you're going to make two single crochets, chain one, two single crochets. 
Before you continue, place a stitch marker into this chain space. And now continue along for the back side and make one single crochet on each double crochet through the back loop only. And that's how you're going to continue for the second row. I will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this second row. Now to finish this row here into the last chain here, into the third chain here, make a single crochet. And this is how I finish the second row. Now at the end of this row, you should have a total of 80 single crochets. Now from here on, we're going to be increasing by 16 stitches at the end of every row. And we're going to be repeating these two rows, a row of single crochets and a row of double crochets. Now for the third row, I'm going to change yarn color here, actually for the third and fourth row. So I'm going to be changing color every two rows. This is optional. You can continue with the same. All you're going to do here is if you're not going to change color, just chain two and turn. I am going to change yarn color here. So I'm going to open this last single crochet insert my hook here grab a loop with both colors so the pink and the white here and close this last single crochet now this is how i like to join my yarn but there are other options whatever option works for you that's fine too the important thing here is that you change yarn color now make sure you leave the white there uh, once we finish these next two rows we're just going to switch colors here so we're not going to be cutting the yarn or anything just leave it there so here with a pink yarn chain two and turn now here to begin into this first single crochet make sure you go through through both loops here at the beginning and at the end the last stitch and the first one I always like to go through both loops there we have a double crochet and now into each one of these single crochets through the back loop only I'm going to make a double crochet until I come to the chain one space of the first corner so here I have three double crochets the two chains do not count Now remove this stitch marker and right into the chain space, make, make sure you find the chain space here, make your first corner. So you're going to make two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. There, return your stitch marker to mark the chain space here. And now we're going to continue along and work one double crochet making sure to go through the back loop Twenty. Now remove your stitch marker for the second corner and into this chain space here. Insert your hook. Make sure you find the correct chain space. And you're going to make your two double crochets. Chain one. Two double crochets. Chain two. Put your stitch marker back into the chain space to mark the corner and now just continue along and work one double crochet through the back loop only on each one of these and then you're just going to repeat the same thing into the remaining corners continue finish the third row I'll meet you at the end I'm here at the end of this third row this is where I did double crochets now here at the end into the last single crochet through both loops make your last double crochet the first stitch and the last stitch I always like to go through both loops now at the end of this third row you should have a total of 96 double crochets for the fourth row chain one and turn in the fourth row we're going to make single crochets so beginning on top of the first single crochet through both loops make a single crochet now into these remaining double crochets until I come to the first corner I'm going to make single crochets through the back loop only. Twenty. 
12. Now here's the corner. Remove the stitch marker and into this chain space here, make two single crochets, one and two. And here, chain one before you continue, put your stitch marker here, right there. Just insert your stitch marker right there. That way you are ensuring that you're putting your stitch marker into the chain space. Now make your last two single crochets to complete this corner. Now we're going to continue along for this shoulder and here's the first double crochet through the back loop. Make a single crochet and into each one of these double crochets make a single crochet through the back loop only until you come to the second corner. And that's all you're going to do. Continue along, finish this fourth row. At the end of this fourth row, you're going to have 112 single crochets. I'll meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of the fourth row. This is where I did single crochets. Now here at the end into the last double crochet here through both loops, insert your hook. And now I am going to join the white yarn so that we continue for the next two rows with white. So grab a loop here with both colors and close this last single crochet with both colors. Now with the white yarn, I'm just going to leave this pink yarn here waiting after I finish the next two rows. So with the white yarn here now, chain two and turn. Remember the two chains never count. Oh, I forgot to mention at the end of this single crochet row, I have a total of 112 single crochets. So now for the fifth row, beginning on top of this first single crochet through both loops, make a double crochet. Now through the back loop of each one of these single crochets, I'm going to make a double crochet until I come to the first corner. So that's two, Fourteen double crochets here for this front panel. Now remove the stitch marker and into the chain space here make your corner. So you know this already. Two double crochets. Chain one. Two double crochets. Return your stitch marker here to mark the corner. Into the chain space. And now continue along for the shoulder starting here here's the first single crochet so through the back loop of this stitch here make a double crochet into the next a double crochet and so on make sure that you pull this stitch like this a little bit back these here so that you can see the stitch here, the first stitch. Most mistakes happen right here in the corner. So into the stitches after you make it the corner, people don't, um, don't start back here, they start here. So then when they get to this part and finish the row, they're missing stitches and that's because they started the first stitch on, in the wrong place. So make sure that you do that before you continue. Now, this is all we're going to do here. I'm not going to show you this row because I already did four rows for you. All we're doing is just a single crochet row and a double crochet row through the back loop only. And on each corner, we do the same thing. Two stitches, chain one, two stitches. Now, at the end of every row from here on, we're going to increase by 16 stitches. So at the end of the fifth row, you're going to have, let's see, 128 double crochets and that's how you're going to continue make sure that you change color if you're changing color every two rows i'm not sure how many rows i'm going to do here for my yoke but continue watching i will let you know exactly how many rows i'm going to do for mine so continue let's finish the yoke and then i'll come back and show you what we need to do next 
Okay, I finished making the yoke. I did a total of eight rows. My last row here is the eighth row, and it's a row of single crochets. At the end of this eighth row, I have a total of 176 single crochets. So now I have the measurement that I need for the size that I'm making. So I just measure this across. It's measuring about nine centimeters, which is about 3.5 inches. Now let me tell you how many stitches you should have had after the fourth row. I think we did the fifth row together so uh, at the end of the fifth row you should have had 128 double crochets then at the end of the sixth row 144 single crochets at the end of the seventh row 160 double crochets and here at the end of the eighth row 176 single crochets now let me tell you how many stitches i have for each one of the sections each one of the front panels i have 22 and 22 for the sleeves i have 44 and 44 and for the back side i have 44. so here to continue i already joined the second color here the white so with the white yarn here i'm going to now continue let me make sure this is not twisted here so here I am going to chain two and turn. Now, here I'm going to work a double crochet beginning into this first single crochet. Now through the back loop here of the next single crochet, make a double crochet and continue here working these 22 double crochets until you come to right under the sleeve. I will meet you right here to show you what we need to do next. I finished making these 22 double crochets for the front panel. Now we have the first corner here into this corner, make one double crochet. Now to separate the first sleeve, skip 44 double crochets and right into the second corner here, make a double crochet. So right here. Now, notice that I did not add any chains here between the front panel and the back side. You can, if you want to, you can add more chains here. The important thing is when we finish this first row that it's in multiples of three. With that said, I need to add an extra stitch here and I'm going to add it here uh, in the middle of the back side. So I have placed the stitch marker. So this stitch marker is into the 22nd stitch. Let me double check. We have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. Yes, into the 22nd stitch, place a stitch marker. Now continue here and work one double crochet beginning into the next single crochet here, which is the first stitch here for the back side until you come to the stitch marker right there one into the next that's two into the next that's three and so on until you come here to the stitch marker i will meet you right here i finished making these 22 double crochets for the back side plus the double crochet that i did into this corner i have 23 so i'm right here where i have the stitch marker so into this stitch here these two stitches i'm going to through both loops here so i'm going to make my increase so into this stitch here i have two double crochets now I'll continue along and finish the rest of these double crochets for the back side until you come to the third corner i will meet you here to show you how to divide the second sleeve okay i finished making these double crochets for the back side now for the back side here i already did my double crochet into this third corner you should have a total of 47 double crochets remember the back side had 44 we added an extra stitch in the center that's 45 and then we added an extra stitch on each corner so that's 47 double crochets for the back side now now to separate the second sleeve you're going to skip these 44 stitches and into the fourth corner here make a double crochet and here is the second sleeve now continue along and finish these last 22 double crochets once you finish this front panel you're going to have 23 double crochets because we have an extra stitch here in the fourth corner continue i'll meet you at the end of this first row 
I'm here at the end of this first row. This is where we divided the sleeves. Now at the end of this row, you should have a total of 93 double crochets. Each one of the front panels, we have 23 and 23. And for the back side, including this increase that we did, you should have 47 double crochets. So that's a total of 93 double crochets, which is divisible by three, perfect. So now to continue with the second row, chain one and turn. Now here I'm going to continue with the pattern. So I'm just going to make one single crochet beginning on top of the first double crochet. Then I'm going to work a single crochet through the back loop only on each one of these double crochets. At the end of this second row, I'm going to have 93 single crochets. So continue, finish this second row. I will meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of the second row. This is where we did single crochets. Now here at the end, make your last single crochet and join the pink yarn. I'm going to continue with the pink yarn, but if you're not, then just chain one and turn. So here, you can cut the white yarn. We're not going to need it anymore. And I'm going to continue with the pink for the rest of the sweater. So chain one, turn, beginning on top of this first single crochet, make a single crochet. Now skip one and into the next single crochet, which is the third single crochet if you count from the beginning. One, two, three, into the third. Here make a single crochet, chain two, three double crochets into this same stitch here. Now the stitch here that I'm going to use for this little sweater is the Crystal Waves Crochet Stitch, which is a pattern of mine. The last video is this little hat here, which I'm making the little sweater to match, and the baby blanket. You can find those tutorials in the information box below. So here, skip one, two, and into the third single crochet, make a single crochet, chain two, and into the same stitch, make three double crochets. Again, skip one, two, and into the third, make a single crochet, chain two, three double crochets. And this is all we're going to do here for this third row. Continue along, finish this row, I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this third row. This is the first row to this pattern, the crystal wave stitch. I have a total of 30 shells. From here on, we're always going to have 30 shells. Now, to finish this row here into the last single crochet, make a single crochet. Now for row four, chain one and turn. Now this is the row that we're always going to repeat from here on. Beginning on top of the first single crochet, you always make a single crochet. Then you're going to have the first shell, we have three double crochets, into the second double crochet here, make a front pull single crochet. Now chain two and into the chain two space here, make three double crochets. So into each one of the chain two spaces of each shell, you make three double crochets. Now we have the second shell into the second double crochet, make a front pull single crochet, two chains, and into the chain two space of this same shell here, make three double crochets. Okay, one last time. We have the next shell, front pull single crochet into the second double crochet, chain two and into the chain two space of this same shell make three double crochets and that's all we're going to do here for the rest of this fourth row and at the end we're going to have 30 shells continue i'll meet you here at the end to once again show you how to begin and how to end each row from here on because the rest you're going to continue on your own i'm here at the end of the fourth row here's my last shell up to here I have 30 shells so from here on we're always going to have 30 shells now to finish each row you always go here at the end where we have the single crochet and make a single crochet and that's how you finish each row now to start each row you always chain one turn beginning on top of the first single crochet make a single crochet and then we have the first shell we have three double crochets into the second double crochet make a front pull single crochet, chain two, and into the chain two space of this first shell, you make three double crochets. 
Now we have the next shell into the second double crochet, make a front post single crochet, two chains, and into the chain two space, make three double crochets. And that's it, that's all we have to do. We repeat the same row over and over. Now, I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do here, but continue watching. I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do, so I will meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I'm almost done with this part. I have done a total of 17 rows here, just the pattern rows. There's 17 rows and it's measuring from the top of the shoulder to the end of this last row. It's measuring about 25.5 centimeters, which is about 10 inches. So here to do the bottom of this sweater, this is what we're going to do. Now chain two and turn. This row, row 18, is going to be worked on the wrong side. So here we have the first shell, we have four double crochet. Start with a front post double crochet, then a back post double crochet, front post double crochet. Now we have the single crochet here in the center, make a back post double crochet. You're, you're just going to continue with the pattern. Again, we have the next shell, front post double crochet, back post double crochet, front post double crochet, and back post double crochet here where we have the single crochet. That's all we're going to do here for this 18th row. Continue, I will meet you at the end. I finished row 18. This is where we did front post and back post double crochets. Now here at the end on top of the last single crochet, I did a double crochet. I have a total of 122 stitches for this row, including the two chains here that we did at the beginning. So now what we're going to do next is for row 19, here I cut my yarn at the end. So I'm going to go here on top of this last double crochet and with the white yarn here, grab a loop bring it through there now chain one and make a single crochet on top of this first double crochet now we have a front post double crochet here make a front post half double crochet so in this row row 19 we're going to make half double crochets back post half double crochet front post half double crochet back post, front post, back post, half double crochet. You're just going to do the same thing, except that you're going to make half double crochets instead of double crochets. Now continue like this for row 19. I will meet you here at the end. I'm here at the end of the 19th row. This is where I did front post and back post half double crochets. Now here at the end into the second chain here, make a half double crochet. And this is how I finish row 19 with a total of 122 stitches, including this single crochet here at the end. Now for row 20, chain one and turn. Now beginning on top of this half double crochet, make a single crochet. Now work a front post half double crochet, back post half double crochet, front post half double crochet, and so on. And this is all I'm going to do for this 20th row. Continue, I will meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this 20th row. Now to finish here at the end on top of this last single crochet, make a half double crochet. Now for row 21, chain one and turn, beginning on top of this first half double crochet, make a single crochet. Now here we're going to do the same thing. We're going to work a front post, half double crochet, back post, half double crochet, front post half double crochet and so on this is how we're going to continue for this row 21 i will meet you here at the end i'm here at the end of row 21 here for the hem now to finish here just go on top of the last single crochet and make a half double crochet now we're going to make half double crochets along this front panel so this here facing me this would be the left front panel so to do this here, chain one. We have the last half double crochet that I did into this space here. Make two half double crochets. 
Now into the next row, there's a single crochet, so make one. Into the next row, make one. Into the next row here, make one. Now into the next row, again, one. So basically I'm making one half double crochet for each row here at the end. Um, here where we did this pattern, we have two single crochets here at the end of each row, so make one half double crochet on each one. Okay, so for this part where we have the pattern and the hem here, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. Now we have the row here of single crochets, make one. Now into the next row we have a double crochet, so here make two. Because this stitch here is longer, so make two into the single crochet make one and into the double crochet row make two so this is how i'm going to continue for the yoke and one here where we have the chain so into this chain row make one and let's see i think that looks pretty good we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38. So I have 38 half double crochets here. Now for the second row, chain one and turn. Now beginning on top of this first half double crochet, make a half double crochet. Now into the next one, the second half double crochet here work a front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet into the next and so on so this is all we're going to do here for the second row which is the same thing we did here for the bottom continue i will meet you at the end of this second row I'm here at the end of this second row. Now here at the end on top of the last stitch here, make a half double crochet. Now for the third row, chain one and turn. Now here I have 38 stitches for the second row as well. I forgot to mention that. So now for the third row, beginning on top of the first half double crochet, make a half double crochet. Now the next stitch here, make a front post half double crochet. Next one, back post half double crochet front post half double crochet and so on and this is all I'm going to do here for this third row so continue I'll meet you here at the top I'm here at the end of this third row of this first front panel now on top of the last stitch here make a half double crochet I have 38 stitches and this front panel here is done now notice that I did not add any buttonholes that is because the spaces in between the rows of half double crochet are big enough for buttons to fit through I think uh, seven eight or even nine millimeter buttons are perfect here since this is a small sweater you can uh, probably use those sizes continue watching at the end when once i give you the finished measurements i'll let you know what size buttons i'm going to use for mine so now what we're going to do is to continue along the neckline and just do the same thing front post and back post half double crochets so to do this chain one now here's the last half double crochet that i did into this space here make a half double crochet into the next row make a half double crochet and into the next row a half double crochet so i did one half double crochet for each row here so i have three half double crochets now we have this stitch here work a front post half double crochet the next one back post half double crochet front post half double crochet back post half double crochet and so on here I'm going to tell you how you're going to work the corners. Now there's no right or wrong way of doing this. The important thing is that this here looks nice. So here's the corner. We have four double crochets. Instead of making 
a stitch here for each one of these double crochets I'm just going to go into this space here in the middle between two double crochets and make a half double crochet and now we have the next stitch here for the shoulder so I'm going to skip these two which are part of the corner and into this next one start with a back post half double crochet now this is only because I want these stitches here to match my last stitch here of this from panel was a back post and I did a half double crochet on top so I'm going to start with a back post here for the next section so back post front post back post front post and so on until I come to the next corner okay here's the last stitch here for the shoulder now we have the next corner here right in the middle make a half double crochet and now since this last stitch here was a front post so this next stitch here for the back side I'm going to start with a front post and then back post Then we have the third corner, make a half double crochet in the middle, and then start this next section here with a back post, and then front post, and so on. We have the fourth corner in the middle make a half double crochet and then this section here start with a front post back post and here at the end into the second chain insert your hook and make a half double crochet so this part here is done let me see if I can count the stitches but first let's see how it looks I think that looks perfect very nice now if you notice that this part here is a little um, too small then use a slightly bigger hook size to do this part here but I think that for the size that we're making this for it's perfect I always make the neckline a little bit bigger because you can always fix the neckline at the end so I think we're fine so here let's count we have two Fifty-five half double crochets for this row here around the neckline. Now we're going to work the second front panel here. So we're going to do the same thing we did here. We're going to make three rows of front post and back post half double crochets. Well, the first row is just a row of half double crochets, and here the important thing is that we have thirty-eight stitches for this first row. Now chain one. We have the last half double crochet that I did. Make a half double crochet into the next row. It's a row of double crochets, so make two half double crochets here. And now into the next row is a single crochet row. Make a half double crochet, then make two, one. So here what I'm doing is at the end of the row of double crochets I'm making two and at the end of the row where we have single crochets make one. That way we do the same thing we did for the other front panel. So here two and then one And here's a row of single crochets one so this part here is just one half double crochet because we have single crochets here at the end 
and then here we're just going to make sure that at the end we have 38 half double crochets now there is no right or wrong way of doing this if you have one or two stitches less or more it's okay the important thing is that you make the same number of stitches um, like you did here for the first front panel that's the important thing that way it matches here so continue i will meet you at the end of this first row I finished this first row for the second front panel. I have 38 stitches. Now chain one and turn for the second and third row. We're just going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to start with a half double crochet on top of the first stitch. Then we're going to work a front post half double crochet. Next one, back post half double crochet. Next one, front post, back post, front post, and so on until we finish this second row now here at the end you're also going to have 38 stitches to finish on top of the last stitch make a half double crochet chain one turn start with a half double crochet and then do these stitches exactly how they are front post and back post half double crochets and that's how we're going to work this second front panel so continue finish these two rows and then i'll come back and show you what we need to do next I finished making the second front panel here at the end. I just did my last half double crochet, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop. And this side here is done. Now I also went ahead and added my buttons. I used four buttons and now these are 12 millimeter size buttons. Remember that the spaces in between the rows of half double crochets are big enough for buttons to fit through. You can use 10, 11, 12, or even 13 millimeter size buttons. Like I said, I used 12 millimeter size. Now what we're going to do next is the sleeves. I already went ahead and did this side, so you're going to do exactly the same thing here as I'm going to show you when you have to do the other side. So we're going to go here, this here facing me, this is going to be the right sleeve. So we're going to go right here, right under the sleeve. I'm going to go into this space between these last two double crochets we have this row of double crochets where we divided the sleeve so right in the middle right here insert your hook and to do this i almost forgot to mention i'm using a slightly smaller hook size a three millimeter hook size if you're making this little sweater using any other hook size just go down half a hook size you can continue with the original hook size the 3.5 millimeter but your sleeve is going to be slightly bigger so that would be up to you if you want to continue with that i'm going to use the three millimeter so grab a loop here chain one and into this same stitch here make a single crochet now into this row here of double crochets here of the yoke make a single crochet into that space and now we have the first single crochet of the 44 single crochets that we left for the sleeve. So into this stitch here, make a single crochet. And now just go all around making single crochets like this. So one single crochet on each single crochet for the sleeve. I will meet you right here at this other end. This is the last single crochet out of the 44 to show you how we're going to finish this first row. I'm here at this other end of the sleeve. This is the first row up to here, which is the last single crochet. I have 46. Remember that here at the beginning, we added these two. So that's why I have 46 single crochets. Now into this row of double crochets here, I'm going to make a single crochet. So now I have 47. To finish the row, go into the first single crochet and join with a slip stitch. And here is the first row with a total of 47 single crochets. Now for the second row, chain one. Into the next single crochet right here, make a single crochet, chain one. Now into the next single crochet here, make three double crochets. Now we're going to skip three and into the fourth here, make a single crochet, chain one, and into the next single crochet, make three double crochets. Again, skip three single crochets and into the fourth, make a single crochet, chain one, and into the next single crochet, make three double crochets. Skip one, two, three, and into the fourth, make a single crochet, chain one, three double crochets into the next 
single crochet. Make sure you always go into the next single crochet. This is slightly different than how we worked the pattern for the body, but it'll still work out. Again, skip three and into the next, make a single crochet, chain one and into the next, make three double crochets. So this is how I'm going to continue here for the second row. At the end, we're going to have 10 of these shells. So continue, I will meet you at the end of this second row. I'm here at the end of this second row. This is where we started the first row of the pattern. Now here I have my three double crochets and I still have two, four, five single crochets left. I have nine shells up to here. So same thing, we're going to skip one, two, three and into the fourth single crochet, make a single crochet, chain one and into the next single crochet, which is the last one here, make a shell. So three double crochets. All you have to do now to finish this row is just go here where we have the chain right there and join with a slip stitch. Now for the third row, chain one and turn. Now this is the row that we're going to repeat from here on. We're always going to turn from here on. And here's our first shell. We have three double crochets into the second double crochet, work a front post single crochet, chain one. Now into the chain one space right here, make three double crochets. We have the second shell into the second double crochet, work a front post single crochet, chain one, and into the chain one space of this same shell here, make three double crochets. One more time, we have the third shell into the second double crochet, work a front post single crochet, chain one, into the chain one space, make three double crochets. And that's all we're going to do here for this third row. Continue all around. At the end, you're also going to have 10 shells. I'll meet you at the end of this third row. I'm here at the end of this third row. I have my last shell into the last chain one space here. Now to finish here at the end, remember we started with a chain and then we turned and then made a front post single crochet. So into this chain space here, you're going to join with a slip stitch and that's how you're going to finish each row. We're always going to have 10 shells. Now to start each row, you always chain one and turn. Here we have the first shell, which is the last shell that you did in the previous row. So into the second double crochet, start with a front post single crochet. Now chain one and into this chain one space here, make three double crochets. Again, we have the second shell into the second double crochet, work a front post single crochet. Chain one and into the chain one space of this same shell make three double crochets. And that's all you're going to do for this third row and continue on for the sleeve. Remember to finish, you're just going to join here where we have this chain space with a slip stitch, chain one turn, and then repeat the same thing. Now we're going to do exactly 16 rows. So this is how it's going to look once it's done. We have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 and then we're going to make the cuff. So continue, make these 16 rows, and then I'll come back and show you how we're going to make the cuff. I finished making the sleeve, I did 16 rows. We have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. Here at the end of the 16th row, I joined with a slip stitch, chain one, and then turned. So now for the cuff here, we have these three double crochets for the first shell. Into the first double crochet here, make a front post half double crochet. Now into the next back post half double crochet, into the next front post half double crochet. Now into the single crochet here, make a back post half double crochet and so on. This is all we're going to do for this 17th row. Front post and back post half double crochets into each one of the double crochets of the shells and into the single crochet here. Continue like this all around. I'll meet you at the end of this 17th row. I finished the 17th row. That's where we did front post and back post half double crochets. Now here at the end, I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and passed my yarn through that last loop. At the end of this 17th row, I had a total of 40 half double crochets. Now we're going to change color here. So 
insert your hook again into the same stitch that you joined, grab a loop here, chain one. Now for row 18 and 19, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to chain one, and then you're going to work these stitches exactly how they are. Front post, half double crochet, back post, half double crochet, front post, half double crochet, back post, half double crochet, and so on. At the end of both of these rows, you're going to have 40 stitches, and to finish, you're just going to go here to the side where you have the chain, join with a slip stitch, chain one, and then repeat the same thing for row 19. So continue, finish these two rows, and then I'll come back and show you the finished little sweater. I finished making the cuff here at the end. I finished the last row, joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, pass my yarn through that last loop, and the sleeve is done. Now you're going to do exactly the same thing that we did here on this side. You're going to do it here for the other side. It's done exactly in the same way. So here's the finished jacket. It's absolutely beautiful. This is how it looks. Here's the back side, and here's the bottom. Now let me give you the finished measurements. From the top of the neckline here to the end of the sleeve, it's measuring about 22 centimeters, which is about 8.5 inches. From under the sleeve to the end of the sleeve, it's measuring about 13.5 centimeters, which is about 5.5 inches. Now the length from the top of the shoulder to the end here, it's measuring about 28 centimeters, which is about 11 inches. Now this measurement here, right across, it's measuring about 11 centimeters, which is about 4.25 inches. And the chest measurement, just the top, it's measuring about 24 centimeters, which is about 9.5 inches. So based on these measurements, this little jacket, coat, or cardigan is for baby boys and girls between three and six months old. Now you can easily make it smaller or bigger from a newborn size and up to 24 months. Down here in the information box, I'll go ahead and leave you some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger, so be sure to check that out. Also comment below and let me know if you want me to show you how to make the matching little pants. Stay tuned, I already have the little blanket, so um, I'll go ahead and show you that in another tutorial. And I already have in my channel the video to make the matching little hat. If you click the little lamb next to my channel name, it'll take you to my main channel. You'll find the tutorial for this little hat there. So this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.